Hi traders, S&P 500 gained 0.5% last week and this is because lower than expected July employment report which lowered the probability of a September rate hike. Now September is considered to be a bad month for investors with an average decline of 0.5%. We should add to that the fact that the stock prices multiples are very high right now, standing at 17, where the average is in fact at 15. So the market could easily drop by 10% sometime during the next weeks or month. Now, September is bad for investors. However, it is very good for traders. We expect the volume and, and volatility to come back. Now, pay attention. This week, trading starts on Tuesday. And this is because there's a Labor Day holiday on Monday. Let's take a technical look at the market. Take a look at the S&P 500 daily volatility. It's just terrible. It is exactly as expected on August and Hopefully, it's not going to stay the same in September. Now, we do need to cross these lines. Either we are moving higher or we should be moving lower, but we do expect some volatility in September. So let's hope we're going to cross those lines very soon. Let's take a look at uh, last time picks. My first pick was the VIX. Now I expect to VIX, the VIX to move higher. Right now it's moving lower because the market is still moving up. But this is a long term investment. As I mentioned last time, I, there's no stop loss in this trade. So I do expect the VIX to continue to move higher. My second pick was Tesla short and Tesla is doing very well. We are in a gain of 10%. But my first target, as I mentioned last time, is 20%. I expect Tesla to drop down by 50%. 50, as good as, as much as 50%. So my first target should be at approximately 20% gain. I expect Tesla to continue moving lower. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is CLR long over 5101. Now CLR has a perfect uptrend formation and I expect it to continue. My second pick the same perfect uptrend is ALGN over 96.13. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.